Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Angel Kim. The provincial government has delivered the results of the second airport poll that was conducted by media companies to the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport. The Public Opinion Survey Process Management Committee, composed of members of both the provincial government and the provincial council, along with experts in the field, concluded that the results of the poll were objective and fair. As there were no points of contention that were brought forward, the final results were submitted on the morning of the 23rd. Accordingly, the ministry will carry out an internal verification process to determine whether the poll was conducted objectively, as well as examine the opinions of all related groups, including Jeju Island, before drawing a conclusion. Honorary Provincial Resident Certificates will be awarded to members of municipal and provincial councillors across the country who have participated in the proposed revision of the Jeju April 3rd Special Act. The Jeju Provincial Council thanked provincial councils across the country for adopting the proposal for the April 3rd Special Act Amendment and formally recommended 17 councillors to be awarded honorary provincial resident certificates. The certification process will be finalized with consent at the 393rd Jeju Provincial Council Provisional Session. The Jeju April 3rd Special Law has passed the General Meeting of the National Assembly Public Administration and Security Committee on the 18th. The final agenda will take place at the plenary session on the 26th. Jeju Island's renowned Fire Festival will be held next month as an online event. Jeju City said in a briefing on the 23rd that all Fire Festival programs will be carried out exclusively online to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The food market, as well as in-person events such as trekking and busking, will be completely canceled, and the climb to Sebyol Urum, where the festival normally takes place, will be restricted from March 8th to the 14th. The fire setting ceremony at Sebyol Urum will be broadcast live online, and 400 vehicles will be allowed on site with pre booking. Starting this year, financial support for high school field trips will be expanded to non standardized general high schools. According to the Jeju Provincial Office of Education, following last year's support for vocational high school students, all students at non-standardized high schools will receive 400,000 won a year for school trip expenses. Only low-income and multi-child families are currently eligible for support at standardized general high schools, and education authorities are considering expanding the support to include all students at general high schools starting next year. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Van Gogh at the Bunker de Lumière. View plum blossoms, feed farm animals and more at QED Natural Park's Mehua Flower Festival. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Please follow us on YouTube at KCTV e News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great evening.